So this is Antoinette Thompson once again. Hello lovelies. What we're gonna do today is put together a quick charcuterie board. I have family coming over, so I want to just have a presentation so when they come in, they can nibble on something right away. So let me just share the ingredients that I have with you, okay? I have some cubed Colby Jack cheese. I have bite-sized dry salami. I have some red grapes red grapes here okay we have some crackers here right they're called table water crackers cracked pepper right then i have these wafer rolls okay chocolate hazelnut i have some famous amos cookies made with Philippine coconut and white chocolate chip, all right? Have some Spanish olives. Can you see those? Spanish olives. Some baby holes, kosher dill, pickles. Um, let's see what else. Some sea salt pita chips. This is some pepper salami and a couple of other meats, deli selection, gourmet. And then I have some townhouse pretzel flip sides crackers, okay? All right, so let's go through that again. The salami, Colby Jack cheese, just bring that up here, some red grapes, chocolate hazelnut wafers, sea salt pita chips, olives, pickles, pretzels, and the cracked pepper um, crackers, and my gloves. Okay, and the salon. All right, so let's get started. One thing, one tip that I wanna give you all is if you're a real creative like me, I'm just putting this, this board together really quickly so I didn't, I didn't do this step. But if you want to, you can make like a diagram of how you want your board to look before you put it together and then you can kind of follow along with the diagram if that makes it easier for you. That made it easier for me. It makes it easier for me sometimes as well because I know exactly what I need to buy because I know exactly how I want my board to look. All right, so let's start off with the cracked pepper crackers, okay? Oh, I also wanted to share with you um, the veggie wash that I use. I use this veggie wash. It's called Rebel Green Fruit and Veggie Clean. I like it. Um, it doesn't leave like an aftertaste or anything. So I like it. Gets the job done. I'm just gonna start here. Uh, I think I'll put these on this side. Get some out now. Now just stack those up. This is gonna be so simple, guys. So easy peasy. Okay. Put those there, nice and neat. Maybe I could put a couple more, get it nice and full. Just a couple more of these cracked, uh oh, cracked pepper crackers. Put another one there. And one more. So it looks nice and full. Okay. Then I'm gonna go in with these pretzel flip sides. Okay. I'm just gonna kinda put these in here. These are a lot smaller. 
so just gonna some of them are broken so I'm gonna just um, put these together the best way that I can just to try to make it look you know nice and presentable kind of blend in with the board the color of them it's got a nice little salty taste Okay. We'll put a few more of those. Okay, so just a few crackers. So the guests can have a choice of which crackers they want to get. All right, I'm gonna take these. This one isn't so cracked. I'm gonna slip that one in there. These crack ones, I'm just gonna take them Put them to the side for now. Get those out the way. So the next thing I think I'll do is I will add some grapes. As you can see, I broke the grapes off. This has three. So I broke them into small pieces. So it'll be easy for the guests to take just a few grapes. Put some of those in the corner here. because they're singles and I don't want them to run away. So those are some clusters of grapes. Okay, so next, I think I will add some cheese, some Kobe Jack cheese. I'm gonna put that right there. I think that looks nice. And then I'm gonna put some cheese right over here. Okay, so now for the meat, the bite-sized dry salami. Let's see, open that up. And I'm gonna put these right over here. I'm gonna line them up by the crackers. Kinda lining them up. Smells so good, guys. Okay. So we have that. Then, I'll go with the gourmet deli selection. Okay. And I'm just gonna take these, I'm gonna start with the salami because it's a little bit thicker. And I'm gonna lay those right across the bottom. I'll do three of those. Then I'll do three of these. One, two, three. A little pepper right there. Three. I'll do four. Four, and then these are thinner. So I'm gonna put those on top. And I'm gonna do those in two. One, it's actually two. Two. And three, I think that looks good. Actually, let me put another row. Maybe not a row. But just a couple pieces of the pepper ones in the middle. Just to give it some different heights. Okay. Very simple. Okay. So, I think this needs a little bit more cheese right here. A little more cheese. Kind of give it some different levels. Okay, and then another thing to making your board look pretty is 
Let me put some more grapes. I'm gonna put some down here. Is to have it like different levels, okay? So I'm gonna put this here in the center, okay? And I'm gonna add these cream-filled wafers. Those are tight. Okay, so I'll open those. And we just put them in like so. Kind of put them in. These don't look so pretty. Kind of put them in. A couple more in there. So we got some sweets there. Oh, one tried to get away. Put that there. And then let's see. Let's go with. Let's move this towards this. Mm, I want that in the middle. Let's go here and add that little bowl. And we're going to add the pickles. So we'll put pickles. Just a few pickles in. Doesn't have to, you know, be perfect. Just kind of put them in there. I'm kind of trying to put them around the sides a little bit. Okay. And then on top of the pickles, or just kind of mix the in since I don't have more space on the board, I'm going to just drop a few olives in there. A little saltiness. Okay. That. And then let's see. I have some cookies. Where will we put the cookies? Hey, okay. let's see. Well, I got a couple grapes here, so let me put these other two grapes here. And the cookies. We need more sweets on the board. So I'm gonna put the cookies next to the crackers. And these are coconut white chocolate chip cookies. Put those there. Couple down there. What do you think, guys? Okay. Make sure I have everything. Move the salami over here. Over here. Okay. This side looks a little bit empty to me, so I'm gonna try to fit some pita chips on there. Just a few. Just to fill it up a little bit. And then, let's see. I think that looks good. I think that looks good. Have a few more grapes here. Let me add those in. A few more of those. took 15 minutes. Let me move some of the things away so you can get a clear look of how it will look on move these things out the way. This kind of over there. I want you to get a look. So that will look so beautiful on your counter for your guests to have something to nibble on as soon as they come in. All right, thanks so much for joining. This is Antoinette Thompson Lovelies. 
If you have not joined my YouTube channel, please go ahead and subscribe. The Lifestyle of Mrs. Antoinette Thompson. I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Take care.